steps taken and what have we at least uh, collated, you know, the top 10. And this is what we will do this time, you know, like, let's say, for example, the language issue. I know what, when you mentioned the language issue, it's always been, oh, we all speak English, right? <laughs> but, you know, we cannot separate language from culture. They're always intertwined. And the assumption sometimes that they don't need it, you know, maybe not true to other communities, you know, don't, I mean, those kind of examples. But I, I guess you have been privileged to be given this information for the last how many years now? It's th almost 2010 years that you, uh, the census has been taken. Thank you. Um, yes, uh, the uh, what we call the lessons learned uh, is very valuable to census. The number one effort that the census is doing right now is to address what we call the 30 percent miscount. Uh, the reason being is that, you know, you we focus on what the problems are uh, as the first priority, and the 30 percent miscount is uh, a lot of count, and uh, and so as a result of that, um, most of the efforts are being focused on that area. Number one, why is it that it's happening? So there was a term that came out of our census and coined the term hard to count, <coughs> hard to count areas. And that's a very, like, quote unquote, hard to count. And uh, the hard to count means that the area was miscounted for various reasons. And number one is that, yeah, the uh, questionnaires were not returned. Number two, there were quite a number of problems. One of them, is the language problem, uh, the barriers for communicating properly, um, and number three, the culture, the culture of the people. Um, for example, I'll give you an example. Here in Alaska, particularly for the Alaska native, there is a different culture that we are very cognizant of. It. So, so with that, it's not easy to just do the outreach effort, we have to rely uh, with, uh, on the assistance of the people who are within the community and within those culture to help us, outreach to them. And doing that requires time. And doing that is not really easy. So those are some of the challenges. Some other challenges that we have, we have faced with before were really a matter of, uh, you know, uh, the biggest concern of many that, that they're afraid to disclose, you know, the reality that, that, like for example, there are five people in the house. They will just indicate two, for reason that, you know, probably immigration reason, and that's still our one of our biggest concern right now. Uh, another problem that we have is what we call uh, trying to count. Well, let me put it this way. Our generation is very, very uh, complex these days. Complex in the sense that we are moving so fast. People are not stationary. Uh, and, and so as a result of that, it's very hard to chase you know, uh, the people. And that's one of our challenges. So being able to count, being able to count uh, the number of people who are moving around here, there, and everywhere, they'll be in a, one place, uh, you know, in one month, and then another place in different months. Uh, that's a big challenge. Homeless, counting the homeless is a big challenge. How do you, how do you send them? How do you send them the the, the, the questionnaires? So um, there has been quite a number of different strategies working with organizations uh, to be able to have they are mobilized that during the census time that they will assist the Bureau of Census uh, to be able to identify where the homeless are, uh, like soup kitchens, um, you know, private uh, other organizations that are hosting them, um, you know. So those are the kind of lessons learned and those, those are the kind of challenges that we're faced with. Um, welcome. Ruben to Anchorage uh, together with your wife Carmelita here, first time. Um, 
<clears throat> my